the C95 Bachelorette. Ah, uh, yes! <laughs> We've got our bachelorette, Chelsea, here, and we've got all five bachelors, plus we have Jenna, who is uh, Chelsea's sister, and mm -hmm. her wing girl, Kim, here to grill the boys as well, and uh, I think, <laughs> like, uh, Jenna looks like she's already got something ready to ask all the guys. I feel like she may be tough on you boys. Just yeah. a heads up from what we talked earlier this morning, it's not going to be an easy ride here in the next few minutes. Chelsea, first of all, what's been the hardest part of the whole thing for you? Um, choosing <laughs> this moment <laughs> right now. This is all a little bit crazy. Uh, it was actually, it was actually a pretty good experience, but yeah, definitely choosing is making me sweat a lot. I saw on your Facebook <laughs> status there that you are, mm -hmm. uh, weren't sleeping too well last night. I didn't sleep so good. No, no. Not at all. And three outfits you went through? You yeah, look nice. That, this you is what I'm amazing. wearing. So you look too great. bad. Yeah. So sad. Great. Chelsea. Yeah. All right, let's talk to the guys here. We've got uh, we've got everybody here. We've got Mike. We've got Gordon. We've got Kevin. we got Nat. Uh, did I get everybody? You got me. Uh, Corey. And Corey. Sorry. And Corey. I was <laughs> 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 oh, getting booed by Kevin. Uh-oh. Uh, is there, let me ask you guys, uh, maybe uh, raise your hand. Is, would anybody have done anything different on their date? Did you have any regrets at all about what happened on your dates? Anything you would have changed? Nathaniel. My toenails are still painted right now. <laughs> and I can't, uh, I don't know how to remove the nail polish. <laughs> you might have denied the, the toenail paint? Kevin? So are mine, but we didn't do that on our date. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Kevin, yeah. <laughs> Kevin's are all painted up as well. What the? Um, let's, uh, what, what was the hardest part for, for you guys on this whole process? Was it maybe... Yeah, well, Mike? I haven't been here in two weeks. And honestly, the moment I left here that Monday, it kind of felt like I wasn't even on the competition until I got Janelle's email this week. We saying, should talk about seven. that. And I was like, weird. That's Because you were the different. one that blocked it out. Like, you didn't really pay attention, did you? No, no. Not. My friends kept me updated. And I won't lie, my dad was into it like crazy. <laughs> and mom, like, they were both so into it. It was absolutely incredible. Family supper on Sunday. They're like, so who do you think? And so I'm like, I was like, okay, yeah, I, I haven't been attention. They're like, oh, okay, well, yeah, this is what the rumor mills are saying and stuff like that. I was like, that's awesome. So, yeah, so that's, that's where funny. I got my updates from, them and friends. So you so. just did your date and then you shut the rest out? Yeah, I just said, you know, yeah, just did my, what I thought was great and mm -hmm. then kind of went from there. And okay saw what would happen so did anybody do the opposite any of you guys do the opposite like were you following everything and you were a, a little uh concerned yep. with some stuff or anything well i mean i was following it just to see what everybody else was doing and then just trying to go over top of that so <laughs> yeah it's just the competitive competitiveness in me that yeah. was that was coming out did I think. you find that that bothered you Corey? like did you sort of thrive off of it because let's face it there's some touch and go comments every now and again oh, yeah i think it, it made me more creative in my ideas mm -hmm. more than anything so i yeah it was good. Okay. Okay, let's get, uh, let's get Chelsea's wing girl in here that she brought with her, Kim. Kim, just step up to the microphone over here, and uh, wh who's your first question for? Which guy? Um, Mike, be honest. Do you still think you're a nine? Oh. Oh, yeah, because Mike originally, yeah. he was the first one we asked. Out of I've 10, what are you? He said so nine. so much flack then for that <laughs> question. But you know what? You had to answer it strongly. You had to say something. I was the first one. I had to say it. Nine, uh, I'll give myself a little lower, probably like an eight-ish. <laughs> but you know what? At the day, I was feeling really good about myself. Sure. So I, I think you did the right thing. You had to set the bar high. Yeah. Then anybody else who came afterwards, Rob right? Then it. Gordon had to say he was a 10 the next day yeah. <laughs> to try to top it, right? Our next question is what Gordon. Our next question was, Gordon, what is your real number then? Now everybody gave an honest answer after you. Hmm. Uh, I'd say 8.239724. Yeah, he's oh rounded it up. Oh, boy. Well done. All right. Uh, Kim, do you have another question? Or, or maybe Jenna? Um, yes, Corey, we'd like to know, um, can you dance or two-step? Uh, oh. I, yeah, I, I used to Ukrainian dance, and I, I'm a pretty good two-stepper, too. I'm not going to wow. lie. So. Good question. Oh. Interesting good question. question. All right, Jenna, this is uh, Chelsea's sister. <laughs> this is for everyone. <laughs> um, what's in it for me? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, oh. snap in the Z. You got to work the sister a little bit. Okay, well. Um, probably more sangria in the future, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, yeah, Corey brought sangria yeah, in the Nathaniel. limo. Nathaniel? Possibly a trip with the sister and us together. Yeah. Oh, oh including the sister. Holiday? The trip. Well Do you played. Like bowling? <laughs> Kevin. Kevin will take everyone bowling if he's chosen. <laughs> banana bread for everyone. Oh, <laughs> Gordon. Gordon's making banana bread. And Mike? <laughs> red wine. We'll go red wine. Oh, oh, yeah. I'll oh, stick to it. That's good. None of us drink red wine. <laughs> get, the girls, get the girls a little drunk. Um, Chelsea is really into horse showing and. She loves it. It's the majority of her life in the summer. So are you guys learning to learn or willing to learn about her horses and possibly go like showing with her? Mm -hmm. You know, like brush her horse for her when she's, (laughs) you know, putting her boots and hat on. Spend some time on the horse project, each guy. Yeah, I I actually went out and bought a pony already just to practice. So (laughs) I I think I'd be good with that, yeah. (laughs) Nathaniel. I actually had a dream about helping her out doing that. Uh, <laughs> oh, dreaming. Oh, the boy. Game, right? Jeez. Look at this guy. He's slick. No kidding. All right, Kevin Stanfield. I think that's part of being the supportive boyfriend. Absolutely. I would never question that. Uh, and if I was terrible at the horse riding part, uh, you can still be the horsemanship type and, and help with the brushing. And, of course, go and support. For sure. Mm-hmm. Gordon. Yeah, I think it's important in a relationship to find that interest and, <laughs> and enjoy each other's uh, interests and talents and really be supportive. So For sure. Okay, Mike. Horseback riding specialist for two years out in New York State, so I got that all down. For there you go. You each have 10 seconds to make one final statement to Chelsea before we take a quick break, and she makes her final decision. Let's start with date number one, Mike. Good luck. Um, make the right choice. And remember, I'm a nine. Some days I'm an eight other, so thank you. I remember that. Okay, date number two, Gordon. Uh, I may take a little bit of time to open up, but um, once I am fully open, I'm a lot of fun. So. There you go. Yeah, because he was a little bit shy on the date, right? Yes, Mr. Okay. Gentleman. <laughs> Kevin's giving a pat on the head. I took no time at all to open up, and I'm pretty much always going to be that fun. <laughs> Nathaniel. I would just say, Chelsea, go with who you feel most comfortable with and uh, who makes you happy at the end. He's got that slick answer, eh? Something's going uh, yeah. on. All right, Corey. I, I, I would say uh, I don't up the sizzle factor until the second or third date, so we have to wait for that. Well said, guys. Date number one, Mike. Date number two, Gordon. Date number three, Kevin. Date number four, Nathaniel. And date number five, Corey. All sitting, waiting to see who is going to get the final rose from Chelsea. How are you feeling, Chelsea? Scared. <laughs> scared? A little nervous. A little nervous? Yeah. yeah. yeah but... You're not going to burp, are you? Uh, no, no burps. I'm not feeling any burps right now. No, Can we just good. review the burp from Nathaniel's date? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you have it ready to it's go. It's a sound effect. It is a sound effect. I would like to, yeah, I would yeah. Like to, to remain a sound effect, please. I've yeah. got it on a button that it I'm going to keep forever now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. I like it. All right, so here's what we'll have you do. We're going to have you just address each guy, okay, uh, just with a kind of a wrap-up of uh, of how you felt about your date and how you're feeling about them, and then we'll have you present the final rose. So I'll turn it over to you, okay. and you can address each one of the guys. Now, Chelsea, go ahead. Okay, I can't really look at you because I might care, but um, I just want to thank everyone for doing this because this was pretty crazy, honestly, and you guys are all really, really great. Like, honestly, I think I got along with everyone. And so, Mike, I did not forget about our date two weeks ago. It was really, it was awesome. You surprised me with, like, conversation, and we got along really well and actually had way more in common than I thought we did. So, that was, you're, you could be a nine sometimes. I can, I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> How's his hair today? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I did. Oh, yeah, his hair is good. So did, did you spend a lot of time on it? Oh, uh, yeah, I have since three. Okay. <laughs> it looks, it yeah, looks good. I, I got a shower again, so, yeah. <laughs> Gordon, you know how to treat a lady. Like, the banana bread and all the extra stuff that you did was awesome. And you were such a gentleman and so polite. Maybe a little bit shy, but I I know it might take a little bit of time. And the camera definitely doesn't help. (laughs) But um, we definitely had the most adventurous with the snowshoeing and the cold. But it was a really good date as well. Kevin. Kevin. Like, (laughs) the funnest time ever. I have to say that. We were completely ridiculous and silly and laughed the entire time and realized you know we don't take ourselves too seriously and you were totally yourself and that was good i appreciate you just being you know this is me that was awesome um nathaniel 
real man can get their toenails painted. It's okay. <laughs> and you were the one that had to deal with the belch. So props to you for that. <laughs> Corey, probably the most easygoing and fun. Like he's been cracking jokes this entire time. We um, got along really well. We had a really good conversation. And the sangria was an excellent touch as well. So you guys all did good. Like I'm so shocked. And do I have to pick now? Shauna, any more? Do you want to add any more in here? I don't have any more questions other than just some comments that, that, yeah, Chelsea's right. You guys were amazing. I mean, each and every one of you, you would leave the room and Rob and I would look at each other like, well, now what? Because he's so great and he's so great. And so for us, we don't, we have no idea what's going to happen and you're all amazing. And you know what? If someone's not picked, you want to be our bachelor for next year? <laughs> hey, we can do for that, sure. right? Totally. Yeah. So thank you. And thank you to Chelsea. Chelsea, you've been amazing. And you know, you were very honest with every single day date and every experience that's hard to do and I know it's nerve-wracking and we added all the extra pressure every day on you so thank you for fun. being you because you were amazing yeah you thank were you. great Chelsea so yeah it was great all right are we ready then I'm ready are so you ready, Chelsea? <laughs> I think so Shauna you've given Chelsea the final yes, rose. The rose Chelsea you can address whoever you want to address and give the final rose and ask if they will accept it okay uh, Nathaniel will you accept this rose there's a lot of pressure in here to say <laughs> no, um, so I will say Thanks yes, I will, I will definitely accept the rose. Okay. Nathaniel has accepted the rose. Woo! Look at the happy couple. Oh. I'm so nervous. Nathaniel, did you think it would be you? <laughs> <laughs> I came in this morning, the guys all said pretty much they thought it was going to be me so i didn't know i thought any one of these guys could win actually so. they're great guys yeah, you guys are. are all great yeah why nathaniel yeah. chelsea why nathaniel? why nathaniel um i think he just had a good combination of everything like we got along really well he was like polite he was a gentleman there was some sizzle it was it was just really good not bad to look at yeah he's pretty cute yeah thank you <laughs> <laughs> Do we, can we get a little kiss? <gasps> hmm? Hmm? No. No. Oh, they won't do it. I'm they sorry. won't do the kiss. <sighs> we, no. we tried every day, Rob, to get I a know. kiss out of this girl. I just want to see some action in here for once. <laughs> the C95 Bachelorette. More juice and behind-the-scenes footage. Check out C95.com.